الساعة الأولى من ليلة الثلاثاء من الرصف المقدس التي هو مجلسنا الصالح بركة المقدسة تكون معنا جميعا أمين. يا جبريل يا ابن الله يا رب العالمين. أرشاد السماء الأسود السميع لتبريوس أمر كل الأنظار إلى زكريا ابن برشيا ابن علي أن يبقى قد هرم الرب على Shining, I'm a true Jesus, the Christ, the Lord. 
limón, e que a ti en su mente ve a ver ya con su mente, tu agio e agene.
Yeah. Okay. 
also the Holy Spirit from God and the prophecy of the eleventh hour of Tuesday Eve, the Holy Ghost for the Lord and Savior means this to you this world. Well. Amen. Yeah. 
لكي نكون مستحقين لسماء الانجيل الاله المقدس نتوسل من ربنا والهنا اسمو انصتوا بحكمه للانجيل المقدس
Savior and then submitting to the soul of men. On his way to Jerusalem with his disciples, some asked our Savior, Few are those who will be saved. Our Savior replied, saying, Strief to enter through the straight gate, lest you should come and knock on the door and say, O oh, Lord, open unto us, and he shall answer from the side and say unto you, I do not know you. Where are you from? Go away, all you wrongful sinners, to the place of weeping and the gnashing of teeth. Many of the Gentiles will come from the east and the west and will lie in the bosom of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But you will be cast outside, dominated by your profanity. Repent and confess that your sins may be taken away. Christ our Savior, as for the Lord's offering, that through his passion he may save us, let us glorify him and exalt his name, for he has done mercy toward us according to his great mercy. Thanks for the, the exposition of the third hour of Tuesday, the Holy Ghost of the Lord, and Savior, and blessed be the Son of Man. On this day, some people came in close to regarding the theme of Herod, saying, Peter, get out of here and leave this area, because of Herod, the Arabic wants to kill you. Jesus said to, to them, Go and tell this wicked fox that I will heal many today and tomorrow. And in the coming days, it is written that no prophet shall perish out, outside Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, O Jerusalem, which kills the prophet and stone the who are sent to you. How often did I want to gather your children together and would not behold your house will dissolve it forever. For those who are not listening, hear me. I say from now on, you shall you, sh you shall not see me until you say in one voice, Blessed to see who comes in the name of the Lord God. Christ of our Savior has come and borne suffering through his passion. He makes him us. He does glorify him and exalt his name. He has done us mercy. Exposition of the ninth hour of Tuesday, the Holy 
us for the Lord and Savior and His blessing to us all men. Listen to the comment, compassionate, the, the patient who has great mercy and teaches us to be clean, not only in our bodies, but also in our hearts. The Pharisees who invited Jesus to dinner was puzzled at him when he ate the bread without washing his hand. The Messiah teacher said to him, You Pharisees cleanse outside of the, of the cup aside, but inside you are full of promiscuity, plunder, depredation, and injustice. Give alms and judgment, and everything will be clean unto you. Let us be kind to God's creation, thus we may purify ourselves, bodies, and souls of all the filth of the sins. Christ our Savior, has come and born suffering through His passion. He makes it worse. Let us glorify Him and exalt His name. He has done us mercy. According to His grace, Fruits, but unfortunately, he didn't find any fruits in it. 
so he cursed. And he went to the temple and he found those who sell and buy and was so angry about that and he said to them, my house is a house of prayers and you make it a temple. So he cast them all out and cleaned the, the temple. The Jews asked him, with what authority do you do that? And he replied and said, I will ask you another question. The baptism of John the Baptist is from heaven or from earth? And they couldn't answer him. Because if they answer him rightly, they will answer himself. And he said, and I will not let you know with what authority I know I do that. But at the last hour, he proclaimed to him that before Abraham, I am existing. So he's the Lord of Abraham. He's a creator. And he is cleaning the house as he is the owner of the house. During the bad hours of the night, um, we heard about his teaching how to be watchful. How to be watchful. Because no one knows when will be the day or the hour. And I hope every time you come to church, to focus on the reading and try to, to listen carefully what kind of message that God wants to deliver to me. Because this is, this is the goal of what I'm here. I'm here to listen to the Word of God and really think about everything I do in my life, that I may be enlightened of His will, to know His will, and to walk through it. Um, so it's preferable for everyone if you can have like a blue note like this and you write your notes on it and uh, the verses you like, the ideas you like and remind yourself always with it. And the church gave us a golden opportunity while the deacon is chanting the, the song in tune. I know that some of us say, oh, isn't that important? Every hour, every hour, every hour? For the sake of time, Yani, do it quickly. Actually, this is time for digestions. Digestion. Digestion. Yani, first of all, yani, whatever you have heard, the church give you a time to contemplate, to meditate, to to digest whatever you just ate in the last hour or in this. So, it's not a time to just look around and feel bored or whatever. It's time for meditation. It's time for contemplation. And the church gave you this time with a very nice musical background just to keep you in the mood of this Holy Week. So, let us enjoy this Holy Week and let us enjoy every hour and every time of it. Uh, one element... Uh, the time. I know that time is so important. And I wonder that every time I come to the church, I always look to my watch. Okay, I'm going to say it will be over by 8. It's 8, uh, 2, it's whatever. So I'm concerning about time. Every time I come closer to God. But I would be less concerned if I spend the time in any other activity. And unfortunately, I'm talking about myself, if especially the unnecessary activities. Time is very important for our salvation. And this is what the Lord tried to explain many times during uh, this day. The first hour in the evening hour, He said, Do your best to walk into the narrow gate unless the door will shut and you will have no opportunity to enter into the door. There is a time when the door will be open and there is a time when the door will be shut. And so we have to be careful. We have to walk through the righteous way. We have to, to, to do the will of God before the door is shut. And you know the, the parable of the ten versions. The five foolish virgin who couldn't have an opportunity to meet with the bridegroom because they were late collecting the oil. This is a time of collecting the oil. 
let us take the opportunity before the door is shut. Third hour, when they said to our Lord Jesus Christ, Oh, escape, go away. Herod, is, he wants to arrest you. He said, I have to fulfill the work of my father as long as it's still day time. So day time is for working. This is another time. Day time means our life. As long as we live, we have to labor for the kingdom of God. But when the time of the day is over, the mind is for sleep. I will have no opportunity to labor anymore. So if you have a, a labor, someone who is labor, and you give him a task to finish it in eight hours, he only has this eight hours. After the eight hours, you get up, ask him, what did he do with eight hours? If it's over without achieving anything, you will not give him that wages. Fair enough. So we, we have time to work, to labor for the kingdom of God. If this time is over, unfortunately, I have no other opportunity to labor for the work of God. In the sixth hour, the Lord said, Watch therefore, because you do not know the time or the day. It may come suddenly. And suddenly, you might remind me when uh, unexpected exam. Let's say you are in a, in a school, and the teacher said, you know what, I will not give you a time for exam. You have to be ready all the time. I may do an exam any time. I may come tomorrow and, and do an exam. Oh, you're laughing. Did you have it before? Thank you. Uh, I may do an exam any time. You have to be ready. Every time when you go back, you have to study your lesson and be ready for exam. I will not give you a certain time for exam. Here we go. This is another message for the Lord. Give it to us today. The day of the partial. When I leave this word, by ending time of my life, it's not known. It's unexpected. So we have to be watchful. That's why uh, on the morning hours, Abba Shinoda Shabdash, my tribe, gave us a, a very good advice. He said, every time in the morning, when you sit with yourself, remember that, you're going to stand in front of the Lord and give an account of your time that you're going to spend in this day. And every time before you sleep, remember that you're going to give an account of whatever you've done. So it's better to offer repentance and reconcile with God before you sleep. And it's good to, to make for yourself a goal to achieve during the daytime because you have this time as a blessing to work for it. In the ninth hour, the Lord owed the Pharisees because they concern more about the outside, not the inside. Though they spend their time in vain. They were just concerned about what to dress, what to eat, how to look, how others talk about, uh, talk about me, how, gonna, how I gonna be looked to, whatever. So it's all from outside, but not from inside. I didn't bother myself to ask about my thoughts, my emotions, my dreams, my goals, and is it related to God's will or not? So I have to be ready for that. Last hour, the Lord confirmed that no one knows the day or the hour, but the Father who is in heaven. So I have to be watched. watching, I have to be ready for this day, and I can tell you, we are struggling against time. Time is not with us. Time is against us. You know why? Because everyone has a certain time for his life. Every day past, this time is mine, and I can't recall it. So we're, we're working, we're struggling against time. Let's say, when I was born, I have 100 years. Now I'm like 45, so I, I have 55. And every day passed, I'm losing, I'm not gaining. Everybody is getting happy that, oh, I'm 45 years old now. <laughs> yes, I wasted 45 years of my life. If I wasted, don't be like me, be wiser than me. Invest every minute in your life for your eternal life. This is the message for today for me. I hope, 
I can learn of it. Pray for me that I may learn that the time is against me. I have to work hard. I have to ask God for repentance every time and every day because I don't know when the Lord will come. I don't know when I'm going to leave this earth and I, will, I have to give an account of my life. That's why the church encouraged me every day to remind myself for this. On the 12th hour, I'm about to stand before the judge of just refining and jumping because of my many sins. For life is better than pleasure, deserved condemnation. But repent, O oh my soul, as long as you dwell on earth. Wow, this is a good tip. If I pray only the litany of the twelfth hour every day before I sleep, this would be a good reminder for myself to offer repentance before I sleep. Also, on the midnight prayer, I beg the Lord that this time will not come to me suddenly. And at the day of your coming, help me to be without fear, without condemnation. This is also another good tip to do. The absolution of the midnight prayer, to pray every day, to ask the Lord and beg Him, don't take me and don't let my life finish on earth without achieving my goal, to abide in you and you in me. I have only a goal in life, to be like Christ. And as much as I achieve this goal, I, as much as I will be ready to stand in front of Him, without that, I am the risk. May God help me and all of you to invest our time on earth for our eternal life which is above time which is endless and benefit of this holy week of Pascha and glory be to God for everyone. Oh, this is 
sustainable old flesh, the help of the helpless and the hope of the hopeless. We ask you, O oh Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, وأخذوا منه حتى القوت بينهم ومواشيهم نحن الآن جميعا أيضا نخضع لك في رؤوسنا ونسجد ما بين يديك ونشكرك يا خالقنا ورزقنا على هذا الحال وفي كل حال هناك سائر الأحوال ونجينا يا الله من كل شدة نسألك يا رب اسمعنا وارحمنا and dispose their life according to your good will. Save us from famines and calamities. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O 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 Lord, Amen. Mm-hmm. 
was crucified on the cross for our sins. Bless us with all the spiritual blessings and support us and complete for us this holy week of Pascha and bring forth upon us the joy of his holy resurrection for many years and peaceful times. Through the never ending intercession of the Immaculate Holy and the Lady, the altar of St. Mary, and all the choirs of the angel, the archangel, through the prayer of the patriarch, the prophet, the apostles, the martyrs, the righteous and holy ones, the cross bearers, the ascetics, the confessors, and the angels, and the blessing of this holy week of Pascha of our Lord Savior, their holy blessings, their vindication, their power, their gift, their love, and their help. Be with us all forever. Amen. The end of his Lord's spirituality. Amen. O King of Peace, give us your peace. Sit in your peace of God to forgive us our sins. For now be the power, the glory, the blessing, and the majesty forever. Amen. And make us worthy, O Lord, to pray in the name of the Thank you. 